This is stand clear. When you open up the game, you will be greeted with a main menu, which as you can see, you can customize your colors of the car. You can customize the chassis, the window and the window tint, and the wheel tires. Every time you open up the game, these settings will be continued through your sessions, so we will never lose your customization settings. All you have to do is live as long as you can. And you will do this by not hitting the barricades and grabbing any fuel canister that you see. The fuel canisters are these lit objects that when picked up will go back to your car and will uh, fill up your fuel meter on the, on the bottom right of the screen. As you can see, the world is cluttered with objects, with barricades, especially the main roads. But on the left of the side of the screen, you can easily see that there is a pedestrian road, which is a little more tight. And even though it pro has a lot less barricades along the way, due to the fact that it is so tight, if you do find a barricade along the way that is just unpassable, you may need to go back and uh, go along the road. When you die, you will be shown your current score and the highest you have ever had until now, so you'll always be able to keep track of how much you have traveled. When you are at the customization screen, you can uh, do this by either click on, on clicking on the buttons at the bottom right of the screen, or you can click directly on uh, their names around the car. And when clicking on the names around the car, press left click to move forward and right click to move backward. At the beginning of each road piece, you can see up there that there is a uh, highway sign that uh, has uh, written on it Welcome to Nuvolahia and also the sector and the road you are actually on right now. And these uh, texts are not put there randomly, they will change dynamically based on uh, where actually you are in the, on, uh, within the city. Whenever you will have a mass fuel drop, you will be able to see that the fuel canisters on the back of your car will be thrown away one by one and when you have run out of fuel completely you will have no fuel canisters left on the back of your car. And you can see them being thrown away into the street and turning into rigid bodies but whenever your fuel comes back, they will be put back on your, the back of your car. They are another good way of keeping track of how much fuel you have left without the need to watch your fuel meter on the bottom right of the screen. These are the key features of the game and I hope you enjoyed it. That's all I got for today and I hope you will enjoy playing the game. Have a great day!